I listen to the deceiver who leads the living church of God. But let's just summarize. This is a vicious, evil, murderous, blaspheming group of liars that have a certain power over God's people. They are utterly of the devil. These ministers have lost much knowledge of prophecy. They have taught vile, evil doctrines, the doctrines of demons. The leaders of the splinters and slivers are enemies of the living Jesus Christ. Makes plain this is really a murderous, evil group. The devil is pleased, but God is not. He called false ministers and others serpents, vipers, dogs, ravening wolves, swine, thieves, robbers, hypocrites, murderers, liars, slothful, workers of iniquity, a wicked and adulterous generation, heretics, cretans, heathens, slow bellies, tares, unruly mouths, foxes, open sepulchres, children of the devil, false prophets, false teachers, false apostles, deceitful workers, referred to his ministers through Paul or the devil's ministers, evil men, seducers, fools, blind guides, and more. The biggest way God sees these men as evil. Recognize, I did not say the splinter leaders are enemies. Neither did Mr. Armstrong. Jesus Christ did. Wolves are not circling outside the big organizations. The worst ones are leading them. Led by a different spirit, these men have brought a different Jesus who comes as part of and with a different gospel and with many other different doctrines, all under a different government and doing a very different work, falsely labeled God's work. How serious do you think it is to God that you've stolen from Him and lied to people? Representing yourself as spiritual Jews, as ministers of God in order to pull it off? And this on top of all the other things you did? Way over a billion dollars have been stolen that belong to God. You've heard the name uh, Mr. Meredith, Roderick Meredith, many times. Uh, he performed my, my uh, marriage and baptized my first wife and of course was a dear friend for, uh, for a full 30 years. Uh, I was Uncle Dave to his children and, uh, and um, he was Uncle Rod to my children. Uh, if he is a brother in Christ, then we can be praying for him. Uh, I would love to think, of course, that he is a saint, and uh, um, I will see him again.